Okay, welcome to part two. Uh, my interview with Mr. Ray from ICW, Infinite Creation Workshop. So, I've seen some of the Kasatrias uh, out there, the resin kits, and I can say that they are fucking impressive. Very okay. impressive. Uh, I don't know what's the name of those uh, types of uh, uh, workshops. I, uh, it's not B Club, it's not Japan, not from Bandai. B Club is from Jap uh, Bandai itself, right? Yes. Uh, this is, for, I think, from Taiwan or whatever. Uh, I forgot the names. So, so Mr. Ray is uh, very excited of for the <coughs> Sasabi. Uh, do you know about the new ones uh, about the MSV, which stands for Mobile Suit Variants uh, of the Unicorns? Do you know that they will be coming out with a new MSV for, like, say, ten kids? No idea. No idea. So they will be doing some new Gundam Unicorns, the third one, third version. Uh, do you like the Gundam Unicorn, the Banshee and the white one? Or, okay. Uh, no, not really. You say the transformation actually stops you from like making it nicer? Okay, um, if you're talking about the model, in fact, yes. Yes, okay. I definitely hate anything that can Like the Zeta and the double Zs. Some of the design, uh, okay, I would say that, uh, maybe I'll make it, make it clear. I like the design. Okay. Uh, Which one? From Katuki drawing all that, I love them. Which one? Oh, unicorn. Uh, for ah. unicorn. Okay. But for model, because it can transform, it gives me hell lot of work. Articulation is just n n minimized because of transformation. Because when when uh, here when we do modification and all that, mm -hmm. we we do uh, we reshaping uh, we we redo the shape and all that, mm -hmm. and because of uh, transformation, there are a lot of parts. Uh, Taking up parts and interconnect uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, stuff going around and it makes work more yeah? a lot harder a lot harder yeah okay okay so it's not excited about the unicorns uh what about this the sinanju which is a which is a which a next progression before it was the sinanju stein mm. and before that it was based off the sasabi what do you think of sinanju Sianju overall, if a it's a love hate thing. Huh? Really? Love is because honestly, that is a really well designed mecha. It's really, really well. Well designed. What do you mean by well designed? Uh, in terms of design, it's balanced. It is just uh, it, it it works. It, it works. It attracts people. Mm. But hate is because uh, as a modeler that molds and build, sometimes if you want to mold it and stuff, you'll find it actually has very little room for you to redesign and make it Oh, better. to do the, what's the term called? To, is there a term called for making new or mobile suit variants, uh, right? Is that just putting here and there one Modification. modifications? Yeah. Uh? Okay, what about in, the... In fact, Stein is, is a much... Nicer. Stein, Stein is, it has give a lot more room for improvement. Ah, uh, okay. I, I wouldn't say improvement, uh, it's just vibration. Okay. What about the Kasatria? That's my personal favorite. Oh, Kasatria is, uh, is very, very interesting. Ah, uh, It okay. is nice by its own. Well, it's bulky, and, very bulky. Oh, yeah, it, it is. But then the best part is, it still has then a lot of room for you to play. How, how so? Is it just the color vari variations? No. Oh, you mean the because the uh, the shoulders you can put in other stuff besides that, yes. the the shield. It has a lot of space and, and, and it has a lot of space for, for for you to change. Okay. You know, it, it has some certain thing nice where you can add on or you can uh, take it out or you know whatever that that suits your personal preference. So have you actually done the kasatria? No. Okay. And so you. I done around six kids a year plus non bandai kids so. Okay, what kind of non Bandai kits do you do? I build cars, I build other RCs. Models, uh, no, I mean, I mean cars, cars model. Tanks? No, mini only cars and mecha. I try to stick to these two. How about here? The people, do they use your workshop for tanks? World War II tanks? Uh, a a not little bit, a little. not that much. Mostly are uh, just cars and Gundam. So, so, who are the other members of this place? Mention their name or uh, you can give them a nickname. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it's not a secret, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Mm, okay. I mean, if you we, we have a forum in 
we have a forum, okay. a Facebook group, uh, which is Plazone. Pl oh, sorry? What? Plazone, P-L-A-Z-O-N-E. Plazone, P-L-A-Z-O-N-E. So, yeah. Plazone, do go and uh, find out, or check out what their activities are at the Facebook page of Plazone. Or Plazone.com. Plazone. Plazone.com and you didn't use Infinite Creation Workshop name? Oh no, this is just a workshop. That one is more of a forum where... People know, exchange people ideas and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, uh, what else do I want to ask? Hmm. What is your favourite mobile suit design? And also something that you love to put together? That you love? Very, really, uh, really love? RX-178 Mark II. That is my own RX-178. That's... that's that is Amuro Ray's unit, isn't it? Uh, 178 is, uh, huh? you know, the, the Zeta series. Ah, yeah. Yeah. The, that one? Mm -hmm. You mean the, the fe Federation a, and yeah. Both Titan? Yeah, Titan and uh, okay. AG has it. Okay, uh, uh, is it the perfect grade that you like or is it the master grades or, or oh, high I'm grades? I'm talking about uh, mm. the design. It's very and simple. The MG and PG also, I love them. You love them, huh? okay? Of all the the perfect grades, there are not many, right? Perfect grades. Uh, they are not that many, but still quite quite some. Of them. So you're saying that the uh, that MK one seven eight uh, Federation or Titan colors is your favorite number one perfect grade model? I would say that. Yeah. You say that. What is the second one? Mm, perfect strike. grade, the strike. Which one is it? The root, rouge. Root. Yeah. root. And not the, the other one, the white one, Kira Yamato's. No. Actually, what? Why? Why I'm. It's the same thing, right? I know. Because I, I don't even watch C. Oh, you never. Oh, no, I I don't really watch animation. So you do Gundams, uh, right? Yeah, I know about their history because um just for research and all that. Okay, you haven't watched the Unicorn series. So for the for the strike is what you are asking me about PG. Huh. I think it's a really well done. PG. So far, to me, is the best done. So PG. the strike line can yes. it can be the white or the pink version, Anyway. So the S three, the frame basically is the same. Okay, okay. The third one, perfect grade. Third. Zaku. Uh, then probably I'll Zeta. Go back to the Zaku. Zaku, okay. not the Zeta. La. No, Zeta actually the shape really. Actually, it looks nice. nice. It looks nice at the back. The backpack uh, like a V shape, you know. Yeah, but. Uh, no, you no. have seen, you have seen model the the MG version two point oh, then you know the PG Zeta looks fat and short and a little bit dumb. Okay, if you were saying that, uh, for me personally, when it comes to like the Gundam Seed Ashtray, mm -hmm. you know that wave weight frame. Sorry. No problem. Go ahead. Take a look Hold at on. here. We have a magnifying glass, uh, and that's the very usual cutting pad which everybody has I'm not sure why and there's a Mr. Cement and they have the Razel I think Razel Delta Plus sorry and they have the Gundam Age which I'm not gonna touch I don't know whether this Gundam Age looks nice or not uh, let's see and they have super glue uh, it looks okay I guess Alright, uh, this it can transform into a fighter. It is a Masuta Gure Domo Deru. What the hell? Okay, sorry. So, when it comes to that, the red frame, you do you like the design of the red frame? S3, red frame. Uh, we are not talking about PG and all that, right? No. This is all wrong. Design. In fact, in seat, the earlier seat, I think the only design that catch my attention is Astray. Astray, yeah. Great frame, eh? Can be. If I'm not mistaken, it's from a different designer from uh, other than the the other uh, the other Mechas. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's uh, it, it exposes the the inner frames, all of it. It's not many armor in it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just. It's, it's very different from if you look at the the, the, the early part of the seat seat animation or, or, or the mecha design. That's really just something different. Yeah, you know, very different. I mean, I'm talking about weaving side. Like. 
it's, it's just very different. You mean this one? Not yellow. Yeah, I mean the the within uh the all the Gundam designs. Uh huh. Sense, uh. Okay. Actually, it's not a Gundam, is it? It's not a Gundam. No, it still has a within. Okay. Anything with within has is a Gundam, yeah? Is I it? Think so. Okay. So the perfect grade, uh, Astray, is it? Uh, do you like it? That one. Okay. Despite I really love the strike frame and all that, I think Astray for that is. A little bit too bulky. What, so what do you mean? Uh, which one is the bulky? The red uh, frame. The the astray. Astray bulky. Because it's uh okay when Bandai design the strike. Okay. It has um. Uh, it has intention to build add on uh not add on uh, it change other armor into other frames. This I believe is their plan. Okay. So when they build um. Uh, the strike is perfectly well proportioned but when they come to Astray, I don't know it's either the design uh, uh, that give them problem or time or budget or R&D and anything okay. it seems like uh, how do I say it, it, it just not up to the top it should be slightly slimmer and more you know, compact instead of where it uh, the reframe basically use uses back the strike, but in yes, basically it okay. is the same thing, except the fingers and jet a little bit. Okay. So when you change a strike armor and put it and make it into S uh, S three, mm -hmm. uh, I think they need to. I I, I don't know. Okay. This this wrong. You don't know. It it, it seems like it's it's. Compared to the strike, it's just fatter than it should be. Okay. Uh, uh for my personal thoughts, uh, regarding this red frame astray, mm -hmm. uh, perfect grade. I don't think they need to make a perfect grade of that because when it comes to perfect grade, for me is because I mean they make the perfect grade because they want to show the inner frame where the opening of the ability to open the armor, but the red frame itself is already like ex the inner frame is like exposed already. So. Uh, there's not much opening here and there which makes it cooler if it comes to like the zakus and if you can open the armor wow with a hinge and you just uh, don't need to use uh, your pen knife or hobby knife to open it uh, that's the the magic of perfect grades okay i think your your idea of perfect grade has still old fashioned pretty much yes which i love it but uh. unfortunately time has changed and bandai has got to change okay even you look at double o Okay. It doesn't have any inner frame to show. Oh like really? Remix, you know, you lock, you can pose, you can play with it. Oh, you, you uh, when it comes to the double O's, okay, the master grade is only the, the I don't know what the name is, the Xia or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, double Quanta or whatever. But the rest, the Cherodiums, the orange fighter or the green sniper, are you saying they don't have master grades out there? None, right? Yes, they have. They have. So are you saying that? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's no grade. Uh, they first came up with no grade, uh, no and and G, but uh, -huh. uh after the uh, double O, yes, no, I, I only the hero Gundam has the yes. master grade, whereas the rest, uh, the other three Gundams, they are just no inner skeleton. Yes. Okay. No. Oh, that's uh, maybe except for the purple. The purple uh, Gundam, you know, something like a supercomputer one, the one with uh, two type of uh, Gundams in them. You don't know. Also something, uh, something, you know. I don't know. You don't know, uh, The one, the very bulky one, uh, like a fat elephant with a uh, big cannons. No. Oh, that one. one with the Gundam face. Ah, with uh, with the hair one, uh, the red hair. That one maybe that has in the frame. Uh, actually, no, uh, I don't know. I uh, don't. Those are all no, non grade uh. So, oh, that's strange. It seems like Bandai is facing a very fierce competition. From? Internet, Facebook, PS3. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what, what? Young kids nowadays, you ask them to spend, I, I wouldn't even say six months or three months. Uh -huh. You ask them to stay, spend three hours. Come on, let's do your model. Uh -huh. Hey, fuck it. Uh -huh. 15, 15 minutes, I'm already killing my number 135 oh. call, of, call of duty, is it? No, I mean, instant gratification. Everything must be fast and ah, satisfying. Yeah. Okay, something like uh, going to the massage parlor. Uh, Thirty minutes is the limit. Uh. No, no, it's 
instant noodle. Instant noodles, okay, four minutes. Uh. Okay, some people can last for four minutes. I will be very, very satisfied with four minutes. So let's see. Uh, what about your per, uh, GPO perfect grade or the full burn or whatever? Okay, perfect grade. That one, I think, uh, that one is a nice game. It's just, um, but that was touching on the marketing, I think. Mm -hmm. And why I don't really fancy that kit is because I realize I'm paying a big chunk of money for the parts that I'm not going to use at all. Okay. Can you elaborate uh, on that? The GPO, they have this gimmick of you can change it to a GPO 1FB and a GPO 1G, the ground type and the space type. Okay. So basically, inner frame is one. Either you put on the space or you put on the ground okay and then they come with uh, another rack racking system and all that to put your okay. non-use and that they charge you a lot of money for that. 500 600 700 which one that one if i'm not mistaken is more than two, uh, twenty thousand yen 200 times three six hundred ringgit three is a very low yen rate. 3.3 isn't it uh, at least 3.3 with our currency went down so what, what I mean is that PG, uh, if, if it comes up with either G or F, uh, then probably I will get it. Because it's, I, I think it's a very nice, it's, it's quite a nice design and everything is good. Okay. Just I'm not ready to pay another chunk of money for what is included inside, which is the extra armor and the wrecking and okay. stuff like that. Okay. Uh okay. Wow, well, I've been interviewing you. I have I been wasting your time. I mean, I mean, are you busy with stuff? No, no, no. It's okay. Okay. What else do I want to ask? Hmm. So many things actually, but I can't actually remember. If you want to ask about Gundam, or if you want to ask about the shop, mm -hmm. the place, uh, mm -hmm. it's okay. Um, maybe later I can show you. You know, there are quite some competition winning. You know, if if guys, you want to know phases behind these people uh -huh. you know you can pay a visit or you can yeah the, i want to start a series a new series i do uh food tourism stuff like that uh, based on my from my point of view la. Okay. of course there's a lot of fuck words and here and there and racist comments uh not racist so malaysia don't kill me so uh i would like to do a new segment which i initially i'm going to name it show me your fucking gundams or whatever but uh i will just uh, make it nicer but show me your dick or something like that. show me your gundam sorry okay. show me your gundams are about the personal uh, collection of people so it would be i mean this is almost like your personal work already so uh but i don't know which one is your displays but don't have any so out there, out there. so this is like my first episode of uh, show me your show me your gundams so if there are members in your place that are willing to show me their Gundams, it'll be awesome. And as you say just now, you you what do you say just to sh don't remember. you say that uh, the people would want to show their Gundams, their personal collections. No, I'm I'm saying if or the phases in uh, the yeah, behind the kids that you see, you saw in the internet that all of this is awesome. Uh -huh. So you are saying that uh, there are some members. Uh, there are, there are, uh, model modelers are hanging out here. Okay, how how good are they? Uh, very, very very good. Excellent. I would say how passionate are they? That would that would be a better question. Passionate lah, uh. because I uh, I go to a website called Gunjab. I don't know whether you know or not. Oh yeah yeah. Gunjab, they have a lot of uh, people posting their works there, mm -hmm. especially from Indonesia and also from not Indonesia, Philippines. Uh, Philippines, yeah, a lot of. Uh, Gundam picture posters from Philippines. Mm -hmm. So are they at that level oh, from Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. You, you start a war. I, I wouldn't no comment on that. No comment. There's no war. This is a love for Gundams. Oh yeah. Huh? There's only. Oh, I think at least they they put in effort to to post their work. Oh okay, but some That's people good. don't uh, like uh, something like your ICW. So you did uh, you guys didn't like. Uh, uh, mass or make a commercial I mean to advertise the whole business but it's okay because this is for more for your your interest in doing all these uh, creations or or modeling or actually this is a workshop it's just for people to hang around here oh, okay okay and just happened that uh, uh, 
many many of them hang around here. Um, they are very passionate. Mm -hmm. And if you say how good of them, if you are talking about achievement, mm -hmm. or Pandai, let's say GBWC or the last time Baku, there are a lot of winners around here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we would love to like the video I mean, since Pandai had this competition before, I think Malaysia won three times. Three times, okay. For the world champion. Fly off to Japan, right? Uh, last time it was in Hong Kong. Oh, okay. And reason to, I think last year started from last year was in Japan. I mm. mean, still a world world final round. World final, uh, mm -hmm. so number one spot, uh? mm -hmm. So there are so many types of uh, categories. Which spot was that? Basically, they only have uh, open category and junior category. Oh, that's all. Uh? There, are, there were a lot of categories uh, in this coming ban uh, Lita, is it Bandai or Lita? competition yeah. Yeah. so hmm. they have quite some categories or you know quite some prizes yeah, okay i think uh can you show me around i think uh, sure. i'll ask i don't want to ask any more questions because i've been picking up your picking your brain too much already and you are ex no, no exhausted worry. No worry. Um, uh, to show this workshop of yours is okay uh, this is not too much I, I know i just want to see you what goes on in the workshop mine oh, okay never mind i smoke oh okay never mind so i can see a uh, rx 178 there isn't it, is oh, it? yeah that is uh, actually uh, uh, done quite some years ago it's, uh, and it's a failure 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 work. so it, it was here for people to play around to come you know to to plan out their pose okay okay you know, you, you just plan your poles and stuff like that. Huh? Okay. So they do that These are all, uh, How much is this green thingy? What's it called? Huh? It's a cutting, cutting mat. board. A cutting mat. Yeah. What? It's just to protect your table. How much is it? Huh? Uh, this one, I'm not sure outside, but uh, for here, the, the A2 size, we are, the A3 size, we are selling like uh, 20, 20 bucks or 25. Sure. Okay. Is this metal? Yeah. Cool. This is something called photo edge. It uses light to take off and then to create whatever remain. It will have the shape. Can, so I, take, it's, can it's I take a look? Thin and all. Uh, oh, it's like something like copper, is it? Chromium. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, brass. Brass. Hmm. Eh? Mm. Cool. What's it actually for? It's for detailing. Detailing. Eh? Using super glue. The, the other side it has all the details. Oh, is it super glue? Yeah, mostly super glue. Uh, what about the What's that solution that actually binds the plastic together instead of using super glue? Super glue makes it white, you know. Sometimes after the, after yeah, some time. Uh, the, the thing is. Yeah. What? Cement. Or cement. It uh. has two types. So uh, it's clear thing, yeah. It yeah. won't. It won't that damage it, the. It doesn't. Actually, it attacks the plastic. Aha! Uh -huh, to melt it, uh, huh? Yeah. So, so two, two pieces of plastic would dry together. So hopefully, uh, so it's not. It's, is this is to join it, uh, huh? Don't use too much of it, uh, because it will like if it's if it's smooth plastic, uh, outside cover, and you put that one, you'll be like all smothered and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There are some cracks in my recent Gundam, or Zaku. Uh, -huh. uh what can I do about it? It's a micro cracks, uh. What can I do? The paint cracks or the plastic cracks? Plastic. Wow, that first thing you got to stop playing with it. Oh, okay, I know moving it around. Uh, Second thing, you just use cement, you glue it. Depends on how. how this is it micro, it's micro only. If it's micro, uh, if you're not planning to move it anymore, fix it on the post that you want to display it. Oh, like that. Uh, uh, yeah. I like to move it around. Looks cool. Then pretty much it's fatigued already, so eventually it'll break. Okay, okay, it's broke already. Uh, some parts, like say, if it's uh, like this one, uh, mm. and it's stuck to the shield, uh, the Zaku one, uh, hit the big shield, right? There's only. Uh, poly PMC yeah. uh, that one uh, yeah. that one uh, if you were to and take it out again uh. and so what can I do when this part here like broke already mm. I use uh, super glue so uh, it, it, it will last you uh. Uh -huh. it, it will hang in there uh -huh. but if you take in out again so so what can I actually do uh, replace it with with all these things which are sold separately you can you can you can, you can. that's it uh, there's no like uh, trying to make it uh no. no is there like a metal variant of all these parts not really unless you have the machine to or they don't sell metal because it's metal is basically you you don't get exactly the, the 
and kind of uh, shape and all that. Uh -huh. If you need to alter the, the metal, then you need machines. Okay, so it is a general type of uh, problem uh, with but with all these uh, model kits, uh, cracking here and there. You the move too much. Transformer, Transformer. toys, uh -huh. any kind of toys that you play, uh -huh. it breaks. Oh, okay, so it's not a toy, it's a model actually. So what else do we have here? Oh, it's come in yen. You've been to Japan, right? Yeah. Nice place, eh? Yeah. These are actually parts that hmm. uh, you sell to shops after they keep fresh, the leftover parts. Oh, okay. So that's why it, it is very cheap. What is this? What frame is this? Uh, this is a Delta Plus. Delta Plus, eh? Yeah. Is it from the uh, Unicorn, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a recreation of the scene from that? No. No? no. No. It has uh, quite some. The two plus is that one, right? Which yeah. one? The box. Ah. You, but you don't watch the anime, eh? Uh, actually, I did watch a little bit, lah. Uh, so how? Whenever I get. Uh, it's good about the animation. Pretty good. But personally, I prefer the O8 MS team, lah. You have to like watch that one. I don't know. Have you watched it? No. Basically, you sounds like old school guy like me. Uh. I mean, I like the drawings in the O8 MS team and also the. Maybe Stardust Memories and also the War in the Pocket. I don't know whether you're familiar with those yeah, yeah. OVAs uh, or not. Yeah. You, have, you have watched them? Uh, a little bit of them, but I do more research on them. Ah, because I like I, animation, I don't know why. I just like it. Uh, back in the 1990s or 1980s, I'm not, I don't know when they, all this uh, original video anim animation came out. Uh, when it comes to Gundam Seed, I, you haven't watched it, huh? Here and there, uh, the story was good. The first season, that is, the second one uh, came into a do nose dive because of the director being from the commercial or the advertising uh, background. And uh, well, our the hero that sorry, uh, wait for part three. Sorry, my camera can only like last twenty seconds.